my goodness, today I am packing my newborn diaper bag. I'm so excited. I am 36 and a half weeks pregnant right now, and I have been a little anxious lately that I'm not like ready for the hospital and like ready because I could have a baby any day now. I don't think I'm going to until closer to 40 weeks, but this will make me feel a lot better to have this all packed and ready. This is a compliment to what I will be bringing to the hospital. So I'm going to bring a hospital bag as well, which will be more for me and Christopher than for the baby. So the hospitals I've gone to to deliver so far have actually provided everything I've needed to take care of a newborn, but there are definitely some things that I prefer to bring just because because they're my preference or maybe they're like a softer blanket or cuter. <laughs> <laughs> so we will be bringing this diaper bag with us. And I also like knowing that the hospital typically has everything that I need. I don't believe that this is true for all countries or all places. So make sure you check in with the hospital you plan on delivering at just to see what they provide because it's different everywhere. So this is our diaper bag. I hope that I like it. <laughs> I do have some other options that I can use, but I'm trying this one this time around and we'll see how it goes. It is an Ergo baby diaper bag and I got this at Target. First off, newborn diapers. So these are Pampers. They are the best smelling diapers. They like make me wanna cry. They smell so they smell so amazing. So I don't actually usually use Pampers for when my kids are older, but oh man, I love a Pampers newborn diaper. And they're typically what I've found at hospitals as well. This is very much a typical like newborn baby smell for me. Oh, I smell so good. I hope I like this bag. I love that it has this like keychain holder and it has like this mom zone that's easy and it has this quick function thing, but there aren't really any like quick access zones and I like to have a spot where diapers go that like you can just pull them out. So this doesn't have that. That's okay. This is the changing pad. A lot of diaper bags come with the changing pad. Honestly, I usually just take them out. Different people do different things. This has two small pockets like this. Typically for a newborn baby, I like to make sure there are 10 diapers in a bag. So if I'm going out for the day or whatever I'm doing, I aim to have 10 diapers for a newborn. For my two-year-old, I aim to have five diapers. They use less, and they have less instance of like pooping and then pooping again five seconds later because a newborn's digestive system works differently than a two-year-old's digestive system. So I've got these diapers in here, they fit really nicely. I also have a Huggies diaper that's a size five for my two and a half year old because you never know and I'd like to have a backup diaper for him. So that's the setup so far in here. And then I am going to have wipes. I like the ones that smell like cucumber and green tea. They also have a natural care one, which I'm always like drawn to buying because it says natural, but I really don't like the smell of them, so. I gravitate more towards the cucumber and green. One of the biggest downsides for me when I picked out this diaper bag was that it doesn't have a convenient slot right here for wipes. And our last backpack diaper bag did have that and I love that feature. Somebody suggested to me in the comments that I should see if a tailor could add it to this diaper bag and I thought that was a really good suggestion. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. We used our last backpack style diaper bag so hard. And it's still in use and in our van right now but it's definitely older. <laughs> it's like we've taken it to many a Disney trip and various functions so it's kind of falling apart now, but it has been a great diaper bag and that one we got from Amazon. So a newborn diaper bag is different than an older baby diaper bag. It's different than a toddler diaper bag. It's a little high maintenance. <laughs> so as I said before, a newborn's digestive system is all out of whack. They can often do a ton of spitting up or puking as I like to refer to it. They will also poop very, very frequently. And, and it's just like, pfft, it sounds like um, when you have a plastic water bottle and you go like, <laughs> like it sounds like that. And they can just do it all day long. And you wanna remove that from their bottom so that they don't get a rash or feel uncomfortable. You end up changing a lot of diapers. With the puking and spitting up, you end up changing a lot of clothes. So you wanna make sure you have all of those things on hand and that you have whatever you need to deal with these pukey poopy emergencies and they will happen. <laughs> you will go through poopy puking emergencies. One of my number one tips and tricks is to have a bag like this of small trash bags. This has 105 bags in it. 
This will probably last me my baby's first year. And it will rescue me so many times you can't even imagine. I got these at Target. I think they're for small trash cans or for like picking up dog poop or something. But this is like one of my favorite mom products. <laughs> and I use that when clothes get wet to just wrap them up, put them in the bag, and then be able to wash them when I get home. I use it when we've got a really smelly diaper. I use it when we're accumulating trash and I just don't want it wherever it is or to clean up the car if we have a few minutes and I can be like, okay, kids, find all the trash in the car, put it in the trash bag. Like they're just a bunch of things that I use these for all the time. I'm putting it in my insulated side pocket because it fits nicely there and it's accessible. I have not used formula thus far with my other kids. That could be something that I end up using this pocket for if we end up needing to use formula. But for now, hopefully I'll be nursing exclusively and I'll have that space for that. So because I anticipate a lot of messes, I'm going to make sure that I have lots of changes of clothes. So I have two onesies. I typically put the changes of clothes at the bottom of the bag because they're the things I hopefully will use the least. And I might put like one on top and then the extra changes near the bottom. I just want to make sure that what I'm needing to reach in an urgent situation <laughs> is the most accessible. This one's so cute. Look at this little brother. These are all newborn size, by the way. I remember when I was a first time mom and a lot of other first time moms that I knew at the time did this as well. <laughs> you kind of feel massively giant and you start going, my kid's never gonna fit in newborn diapers. My kid's never gonna fit in this newborn onesie. It's so, it's so tiny. Look at these tiny precious diapers. I'll smell them again. <laughs> like these are so tiny. You look at them and you go, I'm just gonna get size ones because my kid's never gonna fit in this newborn thing. <laughs> my kid's gonna be bigger, like look at my stomach. And the truth is you are going to have a newborn size baby. And there is a strong chance that your newborn size baby is gonna be too tiny to even fit those things. Like you are going to be shocked when this baby is born and actually fits the newborn diapers and actually fits the onesies and they're kind of loose on them. <laughs> there is the very rare exception where you don't, but I would just say if your baby is genuinely too big for a newborn onesie when they are born at the hospital, that somebody takes a trip and gets you a bigger size onesie for leaving the hospital or whatever you need. But in general, like trust that the newborn size is going to fit or even possibly be too big. So I have a couple of onesies in here and I put that cute little sleeper, but then I have my favorite sleepers in the world. These are called Bonds Wonder Suits. B-O-N-D-S, Bonds Wonder Suits. They are made in Australia. You can get some of them on Amazon or through the Bonds website. They're kind of pricey. They cost a lot less if you live in Australia. I just think that they're so worth it. They were Duncan's main clothing for like basically his whole life. They have fold over sleeves. So if your baby has sharp little nails that he or she is trying to scrape their face with or get in their eyes, which they do, and you can cover that up. And then they also have little footsies. So if you want their feet covered or you don't have socks, like I don't ever, <laughs> um, you have this option of covering them up this way. I'm not a big fan of baby socks in general. I love that this allows me to skip baby socks. And I also don't like, if you're wearing a warm sleeper, I don't see why they would not have their feet covered. So I just love that this option is there. And then the other thing that's amazing about these sleepers is that the zipper can come down or they can go up here. You can pull the baby's bottom half out to change a diaper without taking off this top part. It can be kind of difficult to change a newborn in the middle of the night. They're just kind of floppy and you're, kind of, you're jamming them into the arms, but they don't have the instinct yet to push their arms through the hole or to like to assist you in any way. Their instinct is to curl up. So you're kind of like, <laughs> you're kind of having to push their arms back in and that can be difficult. So skipping that step is really helpful, especially in middle of the night changes where you're just exhausted and <laughs> barely functioning as it is. And then when it does zip back up to the top, this part automatically covers it. 
So it's not like a snap or a button that you need to cover up the zipper. It automatically covers it up. I love these. The fabrics are really soft and stretchy. I'm so glad that somebody from Australia sent me some to try when I had Duncan. Um, they've become my go-to like baby clothing. I don't think Duncan even wore much else. These were like our go-to clothing for anything that we did. So I'm gonna put these in the diaper bag too. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one and kind of roll it up and put it in this bigger pocket just so that I can access it easily. These are Swaddle Me Swaddlers. I love these. They have Velcro closures to help keep your baby tightly swaddled. I can't remember if they work that well on a newborn. Like I kind of feel like even though it's the smallest size, they're like maybe a little too baggy and also not as necessary yet because a newborn doesn't escape as much as a bigger baby. Like when you first have a newborn, you can really swaddle them just in a regular swaddling blanket and you don't have to worry about little Houdinis. But these swaddlers are great when your baby's older and trying to escape the swaddle. Our past few kids, we've been really reliant on swaddling. I love swaddling, so that's why we have these. I'm gonna put them in the bag just in case we need them and also for future use but I'm not sure that I'll be using it like the first week or two of the baby's life. What I will be using are these amazing muslin blankets. I use blankets like this for everything. So remember how I took the changing pad out of this diaper bag? That's because typically if I'm gonna change my baby somewhere in the car or outside or wherever, I'll just lie down one of these blankets and use that. I also use it for protecting my clothes from spit up if I need to to cover up when I'm nursing. Like if for some reason I can't find my nursing cover or I just wanna like throw something on myself very quickly, I'll use that. I use it for swaddling. Basically we use these for everything. <laughs> like I love them so much. This one is a kind of softer, lighter bamboo fabric. It doesn't work as well for burping just because the spit up leaks through a little bit more. Even as like soft and lovely as the bamboo ones are, I wouldn't recommend them as your only swaddling blankets. This one is a muslin blanket and you're gonna see muslin blankets more commonly anyway. These are what I recommend as more of a go-to, have a lot of these on hand. They're not as soft as the bamboo, but they hold their shape a little bit better. The bamboo is so silky, it kind of like can be broken apart easily when you're swaddling. The muslin ones are a little bit more sturdy. They do get soft like with washes, but nothing compares to that silky bamboo feeling. Okay, so here's another muslin one. I just think this fabric's super cute. You can find lots of companies that make really cute and practical muslin blankets. I love this one. Then I like to also have on hand like one big fluffy warm blanket. So one of the reasons why I get rid of the changing pad is because I know I'm going to have things like this on hand, which can double as a changing pad. I always like to pack with me things that have multiple functions and not just like single function items. This is the newborn season. It does not last that long. Kind of need all this stuff when you got a newborn but you will be like, nah, I don't need this many diapers anymore. Or like, I don't need this many blankets or gosh, that was really excessive. You don't wanna get rid of all of your backups because the second you like say, well, I'm gonna skip the backup outfit, that's the day you're gonna need the backup outfit. <laughs> so you don't wanna totally skimp on that, but ugh, I don't know guys, I don't know. I don't love that the space is like this cram and the diapers are so close to the bottom of this diaper bag. My next absolute essential are my nursing covers. If you plan on formula feeding, I don't know that you would need one. Also, if you don't want a nursing cover, you don't need a nursing cover. I personally prefer to nurse with a cover, so I love these. I picked this one up at Target and I didn't know for sure if I'd be able to find my previous ones. I thought I like gave them to Colleen, but then I found them and I was like, Hey. So I have my old ones from Duncan. This one from Target is okay. This is the style that I prefer, where you put a loop here. And then there's this, this harder piece and you can look down. This one has a little pocket. This is my favorite. This is my one from, from Duncan. It's a little stained because, you know, it's been used. It has a very large opening up here, which I'm really comfortable with. And in general, it's very, very large. And then at the bottom, you've got this, like terry cloth material that goes all the way throughout the bottom part. That's good for emergency spit up situations. I found that I don't end up using this part that often, mostly because I want to keep this clean, but I love that this is there in case of emergency. So I'm gonna jam this in there. I don't know about this bag. I think I might have to switch it out. I'm gonna do the whole bag over right now. It's gonna happen. So 
So one thing about parenting is being aware of when things are just not going to work. And I feel like that diaper bag will be great when our baby is a little bit older and we don't need to pack as much as we need to pack for a newborn. But for now, I'm going to use this Jujube bag, which thankfully I got as a gift from Glozelle. It's much larger, it's a little bit bulkier, but it will also be able to fit everything that I need to pack for the newborn much better. So thank you so much, Glozelle Green, for saving my mommy life right now and providing me with this amazing gift. This style of bag I will typically keep in the trunk or at like the foot of the car seat if that's practical. And it will kind of have a permanent home or if I'm sending a kid somewhere for a long amount of time like to grandma and grandpa's house or with a babysitter or something like that. But I don't find this practical for like just a day about town because they're just a little bit heavier and bigger and will also work well for this hospital trip where we have our baby. So one thing that's awesome about these bags is that they unzip really well. So you can see, you can really get inside. I love a pocket guys. Like I just see how there are so many pockets inside for different things. And also that the pockets here are located much higher than the diaper bag I was using before. So that was one of my big struggles was with that bag, the best place to put the diapers was situated near the bottom of the bag. And then as you add things like blankets, the diapers are getting buried. And so that was giving me a lot of anxiety because <laughs> when you need to reach for a diaper, you need to reach for a diaper. <laughs> like they need to be available. This is what I was talking about earlier about like having a pocket where I put a nursing cover, where I put one muslin cloth, where I put one diaper and the wipes. And then you just don't even have to open your diaper bag and you can reach for what you need. So I love that function. So in the very front of the bag, I'm gonna put some diapers. I'm gonna put the wipes and I'm gonna put the nursing cover that I love. And this area I'm seeing has a snap, so I wanna make sure it doesn't get too over full so I can still snap it, which I can, which is great. And with this bag, it has so many of these side pockets that I don't need to fill the bottom the way I was with the other one. I'm going to put my trash bags on the side still if they fit. I'll put the Duncan diaper here. And I think I'll put my swaddlers down at the very bottom. Then I'll put my muslin blankets across the bottom. Two, I'm gonna put in this easy grab side pouch. So I've got that there and then I'm gonna close up that pouch. The muslin blankets are going sort of across the bottom and then there's some extra space for me to put the onesies and a couple extra pieces of clothing. I still have this one that I'm holding on to because it's my favorite. I'm gonna put a backup nursing cover in here. I always need a backup nursing cover. Right now this whole area is more of a backup zone. Now I'm gonna put my big blanket right on top of that and you'll see even with the big blanket there, I can still reach for these extra outfits. I can still reach for the extra diapers. I can still reach for Duncan's diaper in here. And I actually have a bunch of extra pockets which I may or may not be using right away. Up like that. <laughs> Big mama. So I'll put my main backup outfit just right on the top by this blanket. Oh, here's something I never use. Hats. I feel like for a lot of people, hats are essentials. Probably because you live somewhere where it actually gets cold. I just always have them and very, very rarely actually use them, but I feel like I'm supposed to have them on hand. It will go in one of these pockets of lesser use. Okay, moving on to the small gadgets. This is a really fun part of the GGB bags. Let me just show you. Hey, look at all that. Look at this mom zone. So you can use this for your keys. You can put like sunglasses here. You could basically use this as a wallet. I prefer to have a separate wallet and stick it in here. So I'm not gonna do that. This is Lansno Lanolin. It is to keep your nipples feeling great when you are nursing. If you have concerns about like dry or cracked nipples, this is my absolute favorite cream for that. It is derived from sheep. So if you are vegan or have concerns about like animal products, make sure you look into that. This is Boudreaux's butt paste. It is diaper rash cream. I was reading on a forum the other day and it was a big debate about whether you use this for every single diaper change or only when you're noticing an issue coming up. I think it just really depends on your kid. Babies are different, their skin is different and you might have a baby who needs a lot of rash cream and you might have a baby who needs very little rash cream. I do not use it at every diaper change, but if I notice that their skin and starting to get a little bit red or anything like that, I will use this diaper rash cream. And our kid's skin typically doesn't have like issues with eczema or major rash issues, so that's enough for us, but it will vary 
and this is my preferred diaper rash cream. I'm gonna do that, we'll see how that works out. Binkies! I say the word binky for pacifier, by the way. There are different words for pacifiers. I don't use binkies with newborns because I'm typically trying to make sure that they're latching well and nursing well. And I'll also tell you that binkies don't work with every baby. Bailey and Duncan both had no interest. So I have bought a variety <laughs> for when we do start using them. And I'm already keeping them kind of on hand because once you find the thing that your baby does like, Maybe the, maybe your baby will like all of them, but it usually takes some some attempts at different like shapes and sizes. So once you find what, what your baby likes, you wanna really have it on hand. And I like this one, even Duncan never took a binky, but he had one of these little animal things and he liked to just kind of play with the binky and hold it and then he really liked the animal. Newborn baby nail clippers are essential and you can also get this like Frida Baby or other brand nail file. The Frida Baby one is shaped like this. When you have a newborn, their nails are very soft. They're pretty easy to file down with one of these. It's also nice to clip and then file down the rough edges. These things I always want to have on hand though. Okay, so that's my diaper bag. This one's a much better fit than the one before. Ugh, standing up. So there we go. It doesn't really work with my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not gonna worry about that. <sighs> All right, thanks so much for joining me on packing my newborn essentials diaper bag. Um, I hope that this helped you if you're expecting a baby or entertained you if you're not. I'm just so excited about this little guy. I love the newborn season. It's definitely its own special time. I'm just really looking forward to it and I'm really looking forward to meeting our new little baby. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, but I hope that this was thorough enough to really get you through packing your own bag if you need to. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> and I will be posting a hospital, hospital bag, hospital bag packing video as well. Hospital, hospital, my hospital bag, <laughs> hospital bag soon. So if you're, <laughs> and I will be posting a hospital. <laughs>